Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode of Saints Row Reboot. Um, let's do a mission. Wait, what? Well, okay then. We're there. This place has so much potential. Can't wait to decorate. I've got a list of stuff that'll really complete the vibe, you know? We don't exactly have the budget for home decor right now. No problem. There's a nice cheap way. Come with me to Fort Cullen and I'll show you. There's a bunch of cool collectibles around town that would look amazing in the church. All we have to do is find a thing we want, snap a picture, and boom. It'll just show up there. Really? How does that work? It works. Yeah, but how? It just works. Don't overthink it. Do you know someone with like a 3D printer or something? I do, actually. Remember Teddy? Your ex? The guy with the ponytail? Other ex, Teddy. The woman with the mohawk. Is he with me? Guess not. Oh god, why? Would I be able to to jump and climb? No. Get up or yeah, get on. Rather. Oh my god, I really don't like the driving in here. Right, so here's how it works. I think the Western Golden Cannon would rock at the church. Just take a picture of it. A picture? All right, let's head back and see what we got. What the hell, man? So, Teddy, she was cool. She still is. I was thinking maybe next time we do a karaoke night, I'll invite her. Unless she's back with Melissa, of course. Ah, uh, Melissa. She has a good heart. Okay, then, walk. Nice one. How about we put the cannon here? Where? Here? Sure. Nice. That looks badass. Keep a lookout for the rest of the shit on that list, huh? This place has so much potential. That- Wow, okay. I think I'm gonna do that. Give me another one. Saints are a real organization. I feel like I should have a better understanding of, you know, all the basic skills involved in day-to-day -day operations. Uh, 
which means... I was hoping you could teach me to shoot. Oh, yeah, sure. Meet me at the old quarry. I set us up a kick-ass practice range. Wow. Eli, you set this range up yourself? Yep. I didn't have any clay pigeons, so I had to make do with what I could find. Nice. What weapons are you going to use? Oh, I'm more of a book learner. I've done some research already. I just wanted to watch you, ask questions, and take notes. That's not really how you learn to shoot. Hey, everybody learns differently. Well, that is true. This now, is a practical skill. the first thing skill. I saw in my research was that stance is very important. Sure. You gotta have a stance. So what's a good stance? I mean... This? I can't describe it. I just do it. Watch. Okay. Yeah, I I bought a new gun. Oh, I'm pissed. Hey, wow, Eli, you set this range up yourself? Yep. I didn't have any clay pigeons, so I had to make do with what I could find. Nice. Well, what I'm ready to I'm, I'm ready oh, to I'm drop the game. I've done some research already. I'm ready to drop to the game right now. Ask questions and take notes. That's not really how you learn to shoot. Hey, everybody learns different. Are you serious? Now, the first thing I saw in my research was that stance is very important. Sure, you gotta have a stance. So what's a good stance? I mean, this? I can't describe it, I just do it. Watch. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Uh. Oof. Ooh, buddy. I'm out. Oh, fuck. I I hate this. I hate this. The gunplay doesn't feel good. The driving doesn't feel good. Um. The best thing about the game is the customization. Um. And I guess that's not really uh. A selling point or or something that um, something that I feel that like I just don't think it's it's enough for a game to be recommended to, to others oh you should play this customization is really good like that's just playing this game for the shops so you can go on shopping sprees and shit um I don't like the voice acting on the majority of characters um there's nothing here there, there's nothing here uh while I understand I'm still in the very beginning of the game um I don't like if the shooting is and the driving, which in my opinion are very, are the two bases of what Saints Row as a franchise is. Like these two elements um, are what makes the gameplay across all the or most of the gameplay across all the Saints Row games, like. They fucking suck in this. Like, I haven't enjoyed myself in a single mission. And again, I haven't played that much. But at the, but also, this is a game, like, I'm supposed to be entertained, and I'm not. So, I don't think this is... Sorry, my controller. Jesus Christ. So, as I was saying, um, 
as a, as part of the Saints Row franchise, this is outrageous. It's it it sucks so bad, in my opinion. It's just so so bad. I don't have an issue with the idea of a reboot, but it's gotta feel like a Saints Row game. I gotta feel like I'm, you know, the boss or a boss. I gotta feel like, you know, and I don't. I don't. I really like the setting. I, I really like the Mexican vibe. I really do. It's just not enough to get me to keep playing. And this mission in particular, like, is just gonna repeat the dialogue and a bunch of time wasted. And the shooting, oh my god, it's so bad. It's so bad. Yeah. Um. Well, fuck. Um. Well, I hope that these episodes have been somewhat entertaining um i don't recommend this game to anyone regardless if you're a saints row fan or not um god damn i'm really glad that i got this game for free because i do have uh ps plus and this was a month one of the monthly uh free games uh i also have this on the epic game store but I'm not even gonna try on on PC. Like I just I don't like the game. I don't like the game, and um, I'm a huge fan of of Saints Row as a franchise, and I'm just going to like my head canon is that this never existed. This game was never released. This doesn't exist, and uh, as far as I'm concerned, Saints Row. Ended on the 4th. Saints Row the 4th. Uh, or Saints Row 4. I'm not sure how you are supposed to, to read that. Like, I have I, I've replayed Saints Row the 3rd. Um, and in my replay, I've got the Platinum. I grinded the fuck out of that game. And... It's... It was so enjoyable. And although... No, and like, when I replay that game, I chose the same, um, the same voice actor for my boss, which is the legendary Laura Bailey. Um, and so I wasn't even getting new dialogue, like everything that happens in that game I already knew about, because, you know, in, in Saints Row the Third, you get a different script based on the voice actor you choose to be your voice. Uh, I don't know how it is in this game. I don't even want to know. Like, I don't care. I don't give a damn. But um, th this is just to, to say that even without, like, the, re the replayability value of going with a different, uh, sorry, with a different voice actor to portray ourselves, or in this case, myself in the game, um, I, I, <sighs> The game itself, Saints Row the Third, is enough. Saints Row, the Saints Row Two was amazing. I never got a chance to play the Saints Row One because I believe it was an Xbox e exclusive, and I just didn't have one in the. Um, uh, like I, I had no idea Saints Row was a thing, and so uh, I just didn't play it. Um. So yeah, my first Saints Row game was Saints Row Two, and I loved it so much. But I did watch a playthrough of, of, of the first Saint Row. Um, God damn, like, they, 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 they screwed it up. They screwed it up. I understand that it would, you know, it was incredibly difficult to pick up Saints Row after the way that Saints Row 4, well, n not just ended, but, like, what it is, like, you know, it just, it just, takes the chaos and the ridiculousness of of everything that happened to the saints and just i don't know multiplies it a thousand times and like i get that and i've said it before 
I don't have an issue with the idea of a reboot. It just can't be this. This fucking sucks. God damn, I'm disappointed. And, uh, yeah, I just... Th this this mission was a was enough for me to be like, okay, you know what? I don't even want to give more chances to this game. I'm ready to just uh, move on to something else. Um, yeah, yeah. This 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 fucking sucks, and I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to spend more time on this. Well, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next game.